all the parts to build a new Maserati are stored in a giant outdoor warehouse. The first step is to move the engines, transmissions, and suspension parts to the powertrain assembly building in the back corner of the complex. An entire building is dedicated to assembling a Maserati drivetrain. The drivetrain has all the mechanical parts that gets the power from the engine to the wheels. It all starts with the engine, which is actually built by Ferrari and then shipped to the Maserati factory in Modena. Here, they fit the fuel lines. Then carefully position and bolt on the exhaust headers. A driver can control the sound of the exhaust. In what Maserati calls its normal setting, the engine is relatively quiet. But in sport mode, the valves open, giving Maserati's powerful V8 its unique special voice. A German-made six-speed transmission is hoisted up by a small crane and moved into a very precise position on a special jig. A second, larger hoist moves the engine into position. By turning a small wheel, a Maserati technician slowly moves the transmission forward to mate with the engine. The alignment must be perfect. The engine and transmission are bolted together to precise tolerances. To handle more than 400 horsepower, there's no margin for error. Modern air-powered wrenches do most of the work, but they drive some bolts home the old-fashioned way, by hand tools. Hand tools or hands on the steering wheel. A Maserati is all about the touch. Driving it to its limits, or building it inside Maserati's ultimate factory. <laughs>